Assalamualaikum and hola. So today I will uh, show you guys how to solve the problem by using the least cost method. The same example, the same problem. So first you check the total supply and demand are balanced. Now, okay, between all these costs, choose the lowest. Okay, now you have two least cost which are 3 and 3. You may choose either one. So let's say I choose kat situ. Okay, proceed seterusnya. Okay, kita akan uh, tengok kos yang paling rendah. Okay, sampai memenuhi semua capacity, total supply dan demand. Okay, next, macam biasa, you have to calculate number of occupied cell M plus N minus 1. Equal to 5. Tapi dekat dalam case ni ada berapa? 4. So this one falls under special cases degeneracy. So notes, what is degeneracy? It is occurs when the number of occupied cell is less than the number of row plus number of column minus 1. Okay. How to overcome? Okay, put a zero at any of the unoccupied cell. Okay, cell yang you pilih tu adalah cell yang boleh atau membolehkan stepping stone path tu to be closed. Okay. Let's say I put the zero at Fraser to Chang. Okay, so now uh, your number of occupied cell are equal to five. What should you do now? Okay, so the calculation of the improvement index for the unoccupied cells. Okay, uh, IDA, IDB, IEA and IFB. Okay, calculate for the four unoccupied cells. How to detect whether your solution is optimal or not? The value of the improvement index are equal to zero and positive. As you can see here, the improvement index for IDA is equal to negative two. So this solution is not optimal yet. Move on to the calculation of the transportation cost. Okay. Put the value of the capacity, okay, their unit cost and you total up. Now you will get 4,100. We want to improve the solution at IDA. Okay, find the close path, plus minus, plus minus. Okay, I lukis kat dua, nak bagi you faham, nak bagi you nampak. So, plus minus, plus minus. Look at the minus sign, choose the lowest. So, 100 is the lowest. Yang Plus sign tu kita tambahkan minus kita tolakkan dengan 100. Transfer the new values to the second transportation table. Okay, make sure that all the values memenuhi okay, capacity kita. Then check the number of occupied cell. So it must be 5. Repeat the steps for the calculation of the improvement index for the unoccupied cell. So there are four unoccupied cell, IDB, IDC, IEA and IFB. How to check whether the solution is optimal or not? Okay, check whether the values are equal to positive or zero. In this second transportation table, Okay, after you calculate all the four unoccupied cell, the values are positive and zero. So this is an optimal solution. Calculate the total transportation cost for the second table or optimal table. As you can see here, the value is the same as the northwest corner rule method, 3,900. Thank you. Bye.